This year's 4th of July was exciting for a lot of people. While a bunch of us had our intention on fireworks and partying, we were also looking forward to catching up on Netflix's hit series, Stranger Things, which was back for a third highly anticipated season. From Spot 127, I'm your host, Andy Perez. For me, my attention was only on one of these things this July 4th, and it wasn't the patriotism. From Elle's character development, to the reveal of a kinetically lesbian character, to the 30-foot-tall rat-human gut monster, I think this season gave me way more than I was expecting. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that way. Today I'm here with guests Andre and Audrey. Andre and Audrey are both juniors in high school from Chandler Prep, and they've both been fans of Stranger Things since season one. So, let's discuss. General feelings about the season? Did you like it? Yes. I thought it was really good because I didn't notice that every episode was about an hour long. So You really don't. Yeah. The time flies by. So it had really good pacing and everything. And it had like new stuff because the first two seasons kind of seem similar. But with the addition of the mall, it seems completely different. And I like that about it. What are some ways you notice characters have developed from how they were in previous seasons? Were any of them completely unrecognizable to you? Well, Eleven changed a lot, in my opinion, because she actually finally started being more confident, more sure of herself with Max. So that helped her get out of her shell. I feel like Mike was really different, but not unrecognizable. I feel like it's a normal character change, as you would see in, like, a boy who's like <laughs> growing up, you know, because he's focusing more on, you know, girls and all that stuff. And also, Hopper was kind of different because he never really scared me in the past, but he's kind of scary this season. Yeah, I agree with that. I just thought the guy was disgusting this whole season. Does the villain of this season scare you, the creature? It's not really scary it's just more kind of disgusting but i really enjoy the part when the rats exploded like popcorn that was interesting to me and the fact they can break apart them glue itself back together that's pretty cool i did not enjoy that (laughs) okay (laughs) (laughs) um yeah but also the thing being able to break apart that just made it more indestructible silk you felt like they wouldn't be able to kill it do you think the time period stranger things is set in in the 1980s important to its plot and characters and if you do how is this relevant to season three specifically well the major thing is like the communication when they all were doing different things but for the same thing in the modern day they could just like call one another using phones or text and then they can like all figure everything out pretty simply but the suspense is helpful for the actual show. Yeah, and they did that in the other two seasons too, but it still works. Why do you think the Russians were trying to open up the gate to the Upside Down? I don't know. Yeah, they didn't really explain that, did yeah. they? Well, yeah, why would they want that? To destroy America. Honestly, that's probably why. Yeah, but then they couldn't stop it. That makes so. the most sense to me. According to an article from Gizmodo, they went way overboard with the protective father trope with Sheriff Hopper. Do you think that's true? A little bit, yeah. Because if I was a parent, I'd want my child to have a life, so. <laughs> but I guess it still makes sense because his daughter died. Yeah, because they should experience a life. And it does kind of make sense because people can't know about her powers. And if she's out a lot, that could expose her. But overall, I think that he should have let her out more, and that was kind of overbearing. According to an article from Vox, the evil Soviets' as villains hold the storyline of the season back and had negative dimension. How do you feel about that? I thought it helped a lot. It added a whole different thing with the elevator and the massive fortress that took up three episodes. So I think that actually helped instead of harm third season. Yeah. And it sets it up for later seasons. Will you be sticking around for season four if when it comes? Yes. Yes. Thank you both for having this discussion, and thank you, the listener, for listening to this podcast from Spot 127. I'm Andy Perez.